different. Why fifth elephant? Hadoop. Yeah. So let's. Uh, what would the fourth elephants be? The first four. Hadoop. Postgres. Who else uses an elephant as a logo? Evernote. Cassandra. I don't know. Do they use the elephant logo? No. Okay. So that, that's not actually the reason. Um, the fifth elephant is named after a book by Terry Pratchett. Um, who's read anything about it by Terry Pratchett? Yeah. Who's even heard of it? Okay, so a few of you guys have heard. Um, if you've never read Terry Pratchett, you're missing something really major in your life. You know, so go read Terry Pratchett. Uh, Terry Pratchett wrote a series of books called The Disc World, which is uh, essentially a parody of um, mythology. You know, he's taken pieces of mythology from cultures around the world and essentially turned them into a parody of themselves. So the fifth elephant is named after the fact that the world is flat and is supported on the backs of four elephants which stand on the back of a turtle and this turtle flies through space. Now this is what mythology has taught you, remember? Uh, Telling the ocean and whatnot, it's all about turtles and elephants and whatnot. So the fifth elephant is the missing one. Um, this legend of a fifth one that's missing, nobody knows where it is. Uh, did this elephant fall off the turtle? Did it go crash on back into the world? Whatever else. So there's a book called The Fifth Elephant which is entirely about this. and saying, where did this fifth elephant disappear to? Where did it crash? Okay, um, in our Understanding, we just look at data as a fifth elephant. You, know? uh, you can't see it. It's you can't see anything sensible in it if you just look at it in its raw form. But there is something hidden in there. And it's, it's about that. It's about this elephant sitting somewhere in your data. You know, it's about how do you find it. So that's the reason for the name. So um, quick round of introductions. I'm Kiran. I'm one of the guys from Hasgeek, uh, along with the rest of the crew here. So I'm going to pass the mic around. Just quickly introduce yourself and. Um, if you can describe your project idea in one sentence, do it. I am Kamal. I am uh, taking up the uh, drug side effects project. It's basically uh, a data set on all the adverse side effects reported in the US FDA. So uh, the data is there, the data sets are there. I'll have to start working on that. I'm Anand. I haven't decided what data set I'll be working on. I proposed a fair number. I guess I'll just be taking up the one that uh, most people need help on. Uh, I'm Arjun, and I have no idea about uh, big data, but I want to work on that company's data set. Hi, guys. I'm Rayson Risoza, and I'm a Ruby developer at SourceBits, and I'm planning to tackle the IMDB and Twitter data set problems. Uh, uh, my name is Sajjad. Uh, I'm part of the Husky crew. Uh, I mean, it's been like the Hack Night's been one of our dreams. Like for the fifth elephant, at least we try to like put together the Hack Night in a proper structure. Uh, so I'll be around just shout out. I don't know whether I'll be able to work on one of the projects, but yeah. Hi, I'm always. Uh, I'm a researcher. I did my PhD from uh, University of Zurich. I worked on uh, uh, geographic information retrieval. What you see is uh, the today's Google Earth. My interests are into geosemantic information retrieval. Uh, I've been a professor at AAA. Hi, I'm Aziz. I work for Thomson Reuters. Uh, I have no idea about big data. I just come to uh, know something about it. Hi, I'm Nitish, and I'm working for MeshLabs, a startup nearby. And uh, I'm mainly here for visualization of the data. If we can visualize using network or trees, something like that, that would really help. Hi, I am Harinath Kupeti. I am working for uh, IMD Apparel. Uh, I am basically a web developer. I have no idea about uh, big data, so I just thought I will talk and learn more. Uh, so, Siju, uh, I am also looking for a project in the interesting one. So, I am particularly interested in figuring out patterns uh, in, uh, let's say, time series or things like that. So, if anybody has yeah. Hi, this is Uttam. I work as an artist for a startup called R2. Uh, I came here to work on visualization part using some uh, available tools, and I'm interested in ontology and uh, the school Indian schools information project. Thank you. Hi, I'm Satish here. Uh, I'm just a beginner in machine learning right now, so uh, as most of the people over here, most of the big data experience guy. Uh, so my, one of my goals is to you know, do something on machine learning or looking for to make it you know, some uh, data pattern, you know, detection tool out there. Hi, I'm Goldie. Uh, I actually run a big data startup called Bwall. 
process currently terabyte of data a month and we have made available one data set uh, close to 8.5 million reviews if you guys are interested in machine learning or NLP uh, that would be the data set you should work on I am Shashi, I work for barberjob.com uh, we are also making available a data set of uh, jobs and job seekers and we want to find out like what is the ideal uh, profile which gets a job seeker selected so that's the data set I'll be working on and I hope some of you as well so, both of you guys are available if anybody wants to work on your data set, right? Yeah, thanks. Hi, I'm Harsha. Do not know anything about big data. And uh, the project uh, which, you know, I would want to work, I was interested in FDA. But, you know, there are a lot of ideas which are coming up. So, I'll pick up one and I'll just work. Yeah, thank you. Hi, myself is Hari. Uh, I'm basically a PHP developer. I'm an open source lover also. So, uh, I was looking for the Flipkart data. <laughs> Let's see what I get. Who's here from Flipkart? Uh, hi, I'm Gaurav. Uh, the data set I'll be picking on is something available on the internet. It's a Giga on competition, which has, uh, uh, I think, millions of uh, blogs and the users who have liked them or not liked them from WordPress. And the uh, idea is to uh, build a model so that you can give in a blog, you can predict which user is going to like it or not like it. So it could either be treated as a recommendation engine or uh, um, you can even uh, build, build it as a classifier. Whatever way. So I'll just see if uh, what I can do with it. I, uh, I am Vinayak. Uh, I'm here to hack and learn. Uh, not decided what data set uh, I'll work on. Probably we'll work with Gaur on something. Thank you. Uh, hello, this is Mohit from Flipkart. So uh, basically I work for a team which is the inventory planning. So we do demand forecasting, inventory planning, optimization. Uh, so we have proposed a problem of uh, modeling the spike in the sales data due to the events. So we don't have the million and trillions, we just uh, have a small data set having the sales data and some of the events which might have affected them. So I'm open to it, this, either working on this problem or if there's anything interesting comes up, I will take that up. Uh, hi, I'm Siddharth. I I am interested in the Twitter data set. I think, I think that this, there are uh, insights you can get out of how people interact with each other uh, and I, I, that's one problem I would like to work on. But the other thing is if there's some other interesting projects, I'm okay to play around. Hi, I'm Pranil. Uh, I used to work for this company called Adequity, which was formerly called uh, Guruji.com. And uh, I'm planning to work on this uh, Twitter data set because it kind of uh, is relevant to what I'm currently doing, which is like I'm actually bootstrapping on a social network app. Hi, I am Raghavendra. Uh, basically, I'm from Red Hat, and uh, I'm a developer of uh, ClusterFS. So I have not really worked on the, the churning of the data, or whatever the big data thing as such. So, but um, since like it's a kind of a clustered file system, which I've worked on, which provides an infrastructure to store big data and we have it here just to know what the things are and yeah, that's it out of interest. Okay. Uh, I'm Shishir, uh, again from Red Hat. Uh, same thing applies for cluster of us, here to see what the pattern of uh, data storage would be. And just look into big data as a whole. Hi, I'm Venki. Uh, I'm also from Red Hat. Uh, I've actually proposed a project. Uh, I've also worked on ClusterFS and I've, project, and I've proposed a project of uh, using our ClusterFS Hadoop plugin. So looking out for data sets and all. Thanks. Hi, I'm Prabhu. I work for ABB and one of my current projects is to uh, visualize data. That's why this event. And I'm working on the uh, data set of uh, trying to understand what India is searching for for the last one year. So I guess that's going to be interesting. Hi, I'm Deepan. I work for a company called Hashcube. I have data about games. We do social games. So I have tab Tableau with me that uses data and visualizes data and try we try to make meaning out of that. So I have both data and visualization tool so we can play around with that. Thanks. So um, just to pick out uh, people again, um, how many of you guys have brought data sets? Okay. So I'm guessing that um, for everyone else who's looking for something to work on, um, not yet settled on a project, Talk to one of these guys. I've got the Twitter data set. The uh, <laughs> GigaOM likes and blogs is with Gaurav. 
The Flipkart data set is with Mohit. Mohit. Uh, the Red Hat data set is with well, all three of you guys. So, sorry, who? I think the name from you. Venki. Venki is with Venki. Uh, and the games data is with, sorry, Deepan. Deepan. Yeah. And the uh, What India Searches for data is with me again. Kind of events that, okay, this, is, this event happened on this day, this event happened on this day. How those events actually affected the sales? So that pattern has to be figured out. So it's basically a open from there. Uh, and today, uh, our DevOps architect, Sashi, has basically put together a whole bunch of things around the beginning of us exposing a data set. Um, so we, I think, are showing off our jobs, we're showing off the job seekers, and in particular, we're showing off the correlation of which employers like which jobs. And so we think there's some interesting machine learning techniques to figure out, can you predict that? Can you make a recommendation and say, if we add in this data, does this increase the likelihood that, say, a maid or a driver or, or a cook gets hired? Um, and then we're also thinking about some data aggregation scenarios in the geographic domain, and I'd love to hear if people are actually interested in 